A public transportation study conducted by the Caribbean Development Bank could help determine whether the government of St. Lucia is in a position to operate a state-run public transportation system. Contrary to popular belief, the ubiquitous buses on the nation's streets are privately owned with the state providing regulation and setting the market prices while the National Council on Public Transportation lobbies on the operator's behalf. Now that a bus fare hike is inevitable due to a spike in fuel prices caused by the Russia-Ukraine war, there is talk of the possibility of the government providing such a service to citizens. Transport Minister Stevenson King disclosed that the CDB study will help calculate the price of fares in a more efficient manner. King spoke to reporters on Monday at the pre-cabinet briefing ahead of a meeting with the NCOPT set for Tuesday. That is an issue that has always come about. And I have, in a particular way, more or less um, indicated the need for some sort of public transportation study. And um, quite um, appropriately, the CDB is conducting a study, public transportation study, in St. Lucia and Grenada. Uh, we're hoping that the study will not only inform on issues of the, the mechanism for computing bus fares, but also we look at public transportation in a broader sense where government may wish to participate. The government is also mulling the possibility of providing public transportation services in the evening. One of the ideas which I shared with them is the possibility of government coming in to provide public transportation at specific hours those hours that are not reliable at this time to allow for commute within the general population and to ensure economic activity at least at nights. The transport minister is set to meet with the NCOPT on Tuesday to negotiate a reasonable bus fare hike amid skyrocketing global oil and fuel prices as well as the rising cost of living which continues to adversely affect ordinary St. Lucians. Joachim Duplessis, HDS News Force.